What's up, Claymakers? Peter from Clay here. It's product roundup time again. Our engineers just won't quit. We got a lot. Our highlight this week is the new Google Slides integration. Plus, we've got Active Campaign, an update to the SFDC, Salesforce Lead Conversion, Lead IQ Scribe and Value Prop Generator, our new homepage, Trestle Mobile Verification, and we've added Smarty as our newest data provider. Let's dive right in. The Google Slides integration gives you a centralized place to create your slide decks programmatically using your data in Clay to populate variables. You can create hundreds of custom decks in minutes instead of hours. The immediate use cases that come to mind for us, custom slides for quarterly business reviews, sales decks, onboarding kits at scale. But as with all our capabilities, I'm sure you'll think of more and I'm excited to see what you do with it. Fake AI voice, take it away. The first thing we need to do is convert these fields into variables that are wrapped in brackets like this. An important step here is to title this slide deck something memorable so we can find it easily. Then hop into Clay and search for slides in the enrichment panel. Click on Create Presentation. Click Add Account, then sign in with Google and select your email. A key moment here is selecting the slides that you're giving Clay access to. After clicking Select Files, search for the name of the slide deck that you used earlier. Then select the name of that slide deck in this dropdown. And I would recommend creating a folder in your drive for all of these slides to land in once created. Next, we'll map the data from Clay to the variables shown in this menu. These variables were created earlier when we wrapped a word in brackets on the slide. Let's give this presentation a variable title using the prospect's name and company. Then let's map the corresponding columns in Clay to the variables living in the slide. Nice! Now let's save and run the column. Clicking on one of the cells itself will show the name of the deck and the presentation link. This deck could then be sent to a Slack channel, your CRM, or an email sequencer. Next up, we've added Active Campaign. You can now turn your user journey ambitions into impact by orchestrating Active Campaign's AI agents all through Clay. There's five key actions here. You can look up, create, and update objects. You can also create associations between contacts and accounts and add to automation. You can push contacts to email sequences, tag them for filtering, create deals, or even set up abandoned cart follow-ups. Everything is configurable right here. Let's pretend we have this list of contacts. We're going to add enrichment, look up object, and select the active campaign action. For object type, let's go with contact for now. And we're going to map to email. So filter type will be email, and our emails are in our email column. Let's run 25 rows. And looks like we found a few in our active campaign. Now we're going to create object, our second action. Select create object. Contact again, map by email. We're going to add some metadata here and conditionally run it so that it only runs if we didn't find the object in active campaign. Output is correct. Let's save and run 25. It creates the objects when no object was found. For our next two actions, let's look at automation and association. We have two columns here with toggles, a Boolean, true, false. First, let's add to automation. And here we're going to add contact ID to automation one. Let's only run it if the Boolean is toggled on and add 25 rows. Adding to association is pretty similar. We're going to association, look up association, create association. Similarly, add the ID, the account ID for association, and conditionally run if the toggle is true. And there you have it, add it to your association. Lead IQ has leveled up with two powerful tools. First is the value prop generator. It takes company websites and creates tailored value propositions. Just select the domain, run the enrichment, and it gives you insights into what problem they're solving, who they're targeting, and where your product might fit in. This helps you speak their language and position yourself as a partner, not just a vendor. The second is Scribe, an enhanced email writer that can generate complete emails or attention-grabbing openers. And of course, you can include the value prop assets that were generated before. Generate enterprise-grade, hyper-personalized B2B outreach using Scribe's data back templates and insights driving higher reply rates. Let's start with the value prop. Let's go to Lead IQ in the enrichment panel and company domain will be the website URLs. And let's run the columns. This essentially pulls in the company website to generate value propositions. We see one, two, three here. Bill targeted list of accounts, monitor key accounts. Sounds pretty good for clay.com. 
And we're just showing some columns here for visualization. Now let's look at Scribe, Lead IQ's copywriter. Go to Scribe, Scribe Email in the Enrichment panel. Here we can select from opening hook or the full email. In the value proposition, you put in the value prop that you generated. We're going to select the leads email and run those columns. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. The copy is generated. Let's take a look. Generation. Hey, Daniel, loved hearing about your journey with Clay. Da, 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 da. Great. For our Salesforce users, there's a new action in town. Convert leads to contacts. However you define converted in your org, half signals and actions conditionally trigger leads to turn from qualified to converted behind the scenes. For example, when a gong call gets booked or a form submission comes in, Clay can automatically convert the lead. Ultimate customizability. In this dummy table of leads, we have a convert lead column that we'll edit into. The lead ID is already mapped and the conversion status, you can select whether you change to qualified or converted. We already have a conditional set here, let's not run it, but it's tied to whether the converted column is toggled on or off. The point here is that you'll tie this converted column to whatever signal or enrichment you pick. You may have noticed our homepage has been completely redesigned. It's much more like a Google Drive-like interface. Loading times are much faster, especially for workspaces with many tables. You can sort by created date, table owners, or filter for recurring tables. I've been personally craving this. I'm loving the folder structuring. Let's jump around the homepage a little bit. First, we can see that you can favorite, unfavorite, specific folders and tables to your liking. You can filter by last modified date as well as the owner. And let's click into a folder to see the folder structuring. Click back to home. Let's go to favorites to see the two that we favorited. Here's a signals hub. We can go back to exports easily. Home, back to some folders, beautiful. Trestle provides identity data APIs to help you efficiently maximize customer contactability and identification. With two new actions, the first one is verify contact identities if a phone number, email, or physical address is actually associated with that person. Trestle also provides connected, disconnected status and line type with this query, best used to identify leads with the best contact details and the highest likelihood of connecting. Number two, validate phone number, determines if a phone number is active or disconnected and provides mobile versus landline distinction, allowing you to prioritize dialing or sending SMS to active mobiles. Let's look at this dummy table of numbers. We're going to enrich with Trestle Verify Contact. Let's scroll down to see our two required fields. Let's map to the name and the phone number. We have some other optional toggles here. Let's verify the 10 rows and we'll see that these are all valid numbers. Clicking in, we can see phone line type, phone contact grade, phone activity score, and whether the phone is valid. Now let's validate the number. Add enrichment, go to Trestle and validate phone number. Let's scroll down and put in the number itself. You can also put in the country code and phone activity score. Let's continue and run the rows. Clicking into the data sets, we can see a lot of good metadata, the carrier, the line type, country code, activity scores, and valid for condition. Finally, we've added Smarty as a new data provider for four enrichment actions. Find mobile number, find work email, enrich contact, and enrich company, the bread and butter. Another great data provider to add to your arsenal. Fairly straightforward, as always, let's go to Add Enrichment and type Smarty. Find Mobile, Enrich Contact Company, Find Work Email. We've already created a Find Work Email column here. Let's edit column to take a little look. And here you can take in the social URL and the imported profile metadata. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Hope these sparked many new ideas for you. Hit that follow button for more product roundups. And as always, say it with me now, reach out to support at clay.com with any other questions. I'm Peter from Clay and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.